Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a wavy shake effect in After Effects very easy and quick. For more shake tutorials, make sure to check them on the channel. You can also get my shake presets from the link in description. I have made 16 unique and advanced shake effects. And now let's begin with a wavy shake effect. First of all create new adjustment layer and make sure to cut it till where the second clip starts from. Then scroll to the beginning of an adjustment layer and then go 30 frames forward, hold shift and press page down 3 times on your keyboard. Make sure to cut the ending, cause we need only 30 seconds of that adjustment layer. Now scroll to the beginning again and then add a motion tile effect on it. Make sure to check mirror edges and then change output height to 200. Now click on tile center stopwatch icon and then move tiles position slightly down. Let's scroll forward a bit and then move tiles position up. Scroll forward again and move tile center down, but this time make sure to keep it near to the center. Finally go to the end of the layer and then right click on tile center and select reset. Let's scroll to the beginning now and add a turbulent displace effect on that layer. Click on amount, size and evolution stopwatch icons and then copy my values. Set amount to 40. Change size to 80. Change evolution to negative 50. Now scroll in the middle of that layer and then change amount to 10. Change size to 7. Change evolution to positive 65. Scroll to the end now and then change amount to 0. Change size to 300. Change evolution to positive 100. Scroll to the beginning now and press U on your keyboard and then make sure to drag second amount keyframe a few frames backward. Leave these other keyframes as they are and then press U again to hide all created keyframes. Lastly add directional blur effect. Click on blur length stopwatch icon and change blurriness to around 50. Then scroll to the middle and change blurriness back to zero. Let's check the shake effect. It looks nice, but let's enable motion blur on adjustment layer and we're done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.